strange will it be to see? Who's speaking? <laughs> how strange will it be to see Jason wearing green next season? Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm just here tonight, you know, to support Jason. I'm not supporting the Jets. I'm just here to support Jason because of the great thing he's doing in the community with underprivileged kids, and, and that's a great thing. I mean, he's still, it's a lot of time and a lot of commitment. He still comes back. And, I mean, he's always a Miami Dolphin, so, I mean, for life. 12 years with the Miami Dolphins, uh, you can't take that away, all the uh, sacrifice that he put in for the team. But Hall of Fame player, I'm, I'm here to support him and his foundation. That's what I'm excited about. Did, did you think you'd live to see a day, though, that guy's wearing a Jets uniform, you know, out of any other team? Out there? I mean, I'm not going to say that I, I did, but it's business, and uh, that's who wanted it, and they, they showed it. Uh, that they wanted him hard. I mean, they got a great defense out there. They're number one last year. They only got better picking up Jason. So, but uh, I'm happy for him. I mean, I'm not going to be cheering for him. I uh, hope he has a great year himself, especially his health. But uh, I'm not cheering for him even versus the uh, Dolphins or any other team. So. As a player, you guys understand the business aspect, but it seems like fans just can't grasp the fact that, you know, Jason is no longer Miami Dolphins and playing for the enemy. You know, just speak on that a little bit. Well, I mean, the business side of it, you gotta understand, you know, I mean, there's, everybody's saying the whole loyalty thing, but there's also double standard, you know, I mean, you can let let a guy go, but there's no loyalty to that either when it comes to the coaches side or whoever's doing the decisions there. And the fans, understand, they understand, oh, okay, we have to get rid of him. Some don't understand, some do, but when it comes to the player making that decision, it's just the opposite reaction. So, I mean, there's 31 other teams out there um, there was one team that went aggressive at him. I mean, he had to make a move because if you sit, wait till after the draft, you see they had a great draft with the Dolphins, but they went all defensive line. He might have been kicking himself if he would have waited. So, I mean, they might they might not have even needed him after the draft that they just had because they had a great draft. And I'm a fan now. I'm cheering for him. So I'm, I'm uh, you know, looking forward to this year, and I think we're going to have a great team. How have you been, though? You know, what you've been up to lately? I'm doing a lot. I, my wife and I just had a baby boy and it's four months old and so that keeps you busy. I'm doing a couple other things to keep me busy, trying a little sprint triathlon and things like that, just trying to keep myself busy. But uh, the business side of it is good, so I'm happy with that. I've kind of turned the page. And, you know. How'd you get into triathlon? Uh, just something to, to challenge myself on the weekends. Because it's a little different just to turn off the switch like that when it comes to uh, quitting football. you got to find something else that will uh, challenge you. And I think it's definitely challenging. How many do you have, have you done? Do you, yeah, how many have you done so far? I haven't. I'm training for it. You're training. Yeah, I don't want to set myself up. Uh, it's only the sprint, but that's why I'm going to take baby steps. But I have goals. And, but I'm riding with a cycle group on the weekends uh, every Saturday and Sunday and in the mornings. I mean, do you have an Iron Man in the back of your no, head no, or anything no. like that? Not like Jeff Conine. I think that's... Yeah, uh, exactly. That's, that, there's no way I could ever get to that point. I need to lose weight, but not that much weight. Uh, <laughs> that's a little extreme. When's the first event you might do? Have you circled anything? Uh, I haven't yet. Okay. I'm enjoying the training. Yeah. And, you know, I'm looking forward. i got to swim a little better. Because when you're, <laughs> you're tired and you're swimming, uh, treading water is just... I mean, it's, it's tough. Yeah. So... Hey, what, what did you make of the uh, thing where the, this A.J. Eads had your old number for about a day and the fans went crazy and they took the number away and 54 is still open. Did, did you follow that? And, no, you, I, did you see I'm that? for all of that. I mean, yeah. A.J., I heard, is a great player, works hard. I mean, I'd be honored for him to wear that. So I'm not, the whole number thing, I'm not really caught up in all that. But a guy who's, uh, I mean, a guy that they say, privilege like he is. I mean, he's supposed to be a great player that works hard. I like that. I mean, why not? I mean, what I don't know. understand what the uh, whole uproar was about. Well, I think some people thought that it, by taking it away, that meant they were a little more likely to go ahead and retire it for you. Oh, That's I, what the fans are hoping. I don't know. I'm cheering for him. I hope he gets the number. I, I think he got his old college number. 49, so yeah, yeah, yeah. But anybody that wants a 54, you know, I mean, that's fine. That's Did you ever talk with the kid? Maybe. No, I haven't. I'd like to. Yeah. I'd like to talk to him, uh, you know, maybe at camp or something. I can come around. Yeah. Cool. Big job. How are you? All right, guys. Cool. Oh, I'm just trying to say that story is my